Hey guys, it's finally here. Um, today is 2019, uh, the 6th of June, sorry, 9th of June. Um, and my Morserina has finally arrived. So I've already um, opened it, and so this isn't really an unboxing, but we've got a, a bit of insulation to protect it as it was traveling across the world. Got a little Haltech module. Got a pink little bag of bits and pieces. We've got the Morserino plate uh, with the antenna and some spaces and uh, some soft pads for the bottom and also a little key in there as well. And we've got the PCB board as well. And I'll pull these all out and show you guys. Last but not least in the box is the uh, is a uh, thanks for buying. This comes in English and what I believe is German as well. It tells you where to find some information, and I've printed out that information. So plenty of instructions, and also on the back it has uh, the parts list. So I'm going to go through that now. Well, it looks like everything is here and ready to go. I've pulled everything out and checked the list and everything's there, nothing, nothing's out of place and nothing more than there that I'm expecting as well. So time to, for me to get reading and also to uh, get soldering. Sweet. Well, I've done the uh, first page, so here's the module, the PCB board as it's populated. Um, I've got a couple of more things to put on later on, not yet. Um, I've got the speaker, um, the rotary encoder knob I haven't attached yet. The antenna I think goes on some, up, some other time. Um, so at this point in time, I've done all the soldering my solder work, yeah, you might be able to see on this one especially, needs a bit more work, but I think the connections are good. Hopefully I don't have to do a bunch of troubleshooting later on. We shall see. We shall see. But I followed the instructions quite well. He talked about making sure this was nice and flush, otherwise it'll be a bit angled. Um, so that's good. So that button's working. Um, the rotary encoder here. Yeah. Otherwise, everything's looking looking pretty good. The instructions are fantastic, by the way. So at this point, I've got to the Haltech module, and it told it's telling me, as you can see in here, I've attached the um, the cable, and I've attached it correctly, the right colours. Um, otherwise, the electrons fall out, and I just need to attach these female connectors just like in this picture as you can see yeah so I'm going to attach them and um, if anything interesting happens I'll let you know right um, so what I've done in this section was I soldered the shh, don't look too close uh, <laughs> the Haltech module onto place uh, and then also the power to the Haltech module which is over here for the ESP32 chip shush don't look at it don't look, don't look at my soldering and then uh, also the battery sorry it got soldered on top and then I can put a battery connector in the middle I don't have a battery at the moment, but I intend to the power through the uh, yeah using a, a five volt. Uh, I'll just check my lighting. Uh, maybe if I just go hold it like this. When I start to attach, oh yeah, I attach the speaker, which was one of the last ones. Again, my soldering uh, hopefully works, and then the um, the encoder button, 
it clicks and then also that button as well and now comes the time I think I just gotta this page is recommending me to um, just do some troubleshooting and just make sure that it's all kind of all go I think before I hook up the antenna and cross my fingers uh, so um, yeah yeah, so I think the only problem that I've had really is just the soldering level, um, but I still I do need to practice. I've only done one other soldering kit before, it was just a pixie kit. So now, more practice. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I just found, um, so these, these uh, acrylic glass plates, as he called them, they are just transparent, but you can see that this one's kind of got a blue hue to it. And that's because the foil, many of you probably know this already, but this is, this is strange to me. The foil is actually the blue color, that's where it comes from. Um, also, it's really hard to see and to get the, um, the foil off. There's actually a foil attached on this side, you can... Well, I don't know what the quality's like on YouTube, but there is a very thin foil and I'll see if I can get it on camera for you. Alright, it looks like I'm done. Here's the kit in all its glory. I haven't taken off the plastic from the OLED display yet. It's It does make sure you read this because it talks about how it, this fits very oh. snugly in the acrylic glass. Notice the antenna, little antenna here and the there's like a plastic, it's very snug, so just be very careful, I had to, I screwed these ones on first before these ones, because I just made sure that it was nice and snug, and it wasn't going to break the OLED display, display nor the antenna here. Of course you're going to use this other antenna, I found the cord for this antenna a bit of, bit of a pain, you had to kind of loop it around a bit, uh, I hope it, I don't know, I hope it works, we'll see. Otherwise, Fantastic, again, fantastic instructions about predicting to make sure that this is nice and straight up and down um, and flush with the PCB, so on and so forth. Uh, otherwise, so moment of truth, you guys will be with me. Um, I don't have a battery, but I do have, it does say in the instructions you can use a 5 volt source, and this is a 5 volt source. I, I'm going to go, f these are f on this, my, my own battery, I've got a 5 volt 1 amp output. And I'm, I want to go that much first before I go full. But this is going to be on the screen. You guys are going to be experiencing this with me. And okay, just plugging that in. I see there's a red light. Oh, and it's turned on. So I got, sorry, I'll let you guys see as well. So it's CCW Care, and I can change it with this CW Generator Echo Trainer. Maybe I'll just go Kia. Start CW Kia. TE in okay so it's it's working there's no sound but I'm super hyped that it's it's worked what does this button do not sure is the clicking maybe the click takes me out no. hmm that's interesting but it works kind of Maybe I just need to work on... I'll see how I can get the speaker to work. It doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Hey guys, I, uh, I found out the problem. Um, so everything was working fine apart from the speaker. So I can, if I use headphones, it, it comes through fine. Um, and I can hear it and it, the, the paddles are working perfectly. Um, before I was a little bit cautious because I, I couldn't hear anything so I couldn't tell if I was sending things right. But they work, the capacitive touch paddles work fantastically. So, yeah, now it's time to knuckle down and 
get into some proper morse and get on the air. Thumbs up for me so far, and yeah, get into it guys. Morserino 32, good stuff.